So, hello students, welcome to the episode 2 of Talk with Baswa Sir. Now students, has it ever happened to you that you keep reading the same lines of NCRT, you keep watching the same lecture over and over and you call it revision? Because try to imagine yourself in the exam hall and you are not able to remember that example, you are not able to remember that concept, then it means that your entire revision process was somewhere flawed. Because reading the same lines of NCRT, watching the same lecture 10 times is not revision, not a students. So in this video, I just want to talk to all of you that what exactly can help you to revise and whatever you read, you'll remember it for the longer run students. So if this video is going to be helpful to all of you, quickly smash the like button. The target for this video is around 200 likes. Yes, I am being more optimistic. So 200 likes is the target students. I know all of you will make it happen. And also let me know in the comment section if this video is useful to, useful to all of you students. Now, in the next five minutes, I'll teach you the proper art of revision students. The point number one is called as the power of asking questions. This is what I believe in. This is what my teaching style is also based on. Because every single time I ask you a question, you remember better. Let me give you, let me give you a quick example. See the students, read this. Let's say here I have a book here. This is my Power Ranger book. Time to time I read a lot of comics. So let's say I read the first line of this, the first line here. It says, these young champions were called the, to defend the earth against Lothar. Now, instead of just reading that line of the book, you need to ask, why were they called to earth? How were they called to earth? What will happen if they are called to earth? Now that is called as power of asking question. Okay, let me give you one more example students. Let's say, I will take a, this is your tatwa, right? Let's say, I uh, open morphology. Instead of just reading the lines of NCR, uh, uh, tatwa here about estivation, 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 I try to ask myself, before I revise the valid estivation, valid chair, Right? Twisted estivation, what exactly happens in twisted estivation? So, you before you just, just mindlessly start reading the concept, you ask questions. Every single time you ask question, the memory becomes stronger and that is what I want all of you to implement. The first thing is called as power of asking question. Now, second thing is called as the focus time. Every single individual is unique. We say, say I am very unique, you all of you are very unique, right? We are unique because all of us have different abilities. Some of you can sit for two hours and study. Some of you can sit for 25 minutes. Identify that focus time. Because in that focus time, I do not want you to look here and there. No, nowhere here and there. Focus time ultimate. So identify your focus time and study in that focus time without any distractions. That is the ultimate goal. So identify the focus time, point number two. Now students, point number three is called as the forgetting curve. Students, we are humans, we forget. I forgot my dog's birthday last year. I was very sad. So we forget things, we forget things, right? So the best way to beat the forgetting curve is something called a space repetition. Now let's see the same example of estivation. Now let's say I ask you the example of twisted estivation. And I tell you a trick. Okay, I tell you a trick. Lady from China has a twisted cotton. Lady's finger, cotton and twisted China, China rose. Now if you don't revise this, after four to five days, God promise you'll forget. That is called as forgetting curve. So it is built in us. You have to beat it out of you. And how do you remove the forgetting curve? By space repetition. Day one you do something, day three you do it, day seven you do it. So have that space repetition on point. Okay, so you can beat the forgetting curve. Now, students, next point is called as use alternative fun methods to revise. Now, personal students, I think I showed you last time also, right? These are called as your flashcards. I believe all of you also have these flashcards, right? If you do not have, I'll uh, I'll drop a link, right? These are Vidantu Vidan flashcards. Now these help me to revise. These help me to revise even before the entire class starts also. Let's say fruit, true fruit, for what is a true fruit? What is a partial carbon fruit? With examples. What is apomixis? What is polyembryony? With examples. Structure of monocord seed, dicord seed. Yeah, see, this is fun. Fun way of revising. It is like a small game also. So you can use the alternative methods. That is the point number four. So point number one was what students? Point number one was power of asking questions. Point number two was focus. Point number three is beating the forget curve. And the point number four is having alternatives. The point number five is very basic. Students learn from your mistakes. Now, reason I tell you learn from your mistakes is that more mistakes you do in my class or mock paper or any other test, the less mistakes you do in the examination, the more mistakes you do, you learn from it and that is a point of revision. 
the whole point of you doing mock paper every single week is to revise that concept right so learn from your mistakes students learn from your mistakes and students that's it for this video and i feel like all these five points are very solid points one more thing if i have to tell you is um, one method which i generally use i used to use in my college time is called as flamens technique now what is that basically if you want to learn something you teach it to someone so basically you read a concept and try explaining it to yourself try explaining this plant try explaining it to yourself or a dog cat mom doesn't matter try explaining a concept to someone because if you are not able to explain the concept it means yourself you do not know it so and you cannot cheat yourself students so these are the bonus points so please remember the five points of ultimate revision and trust me your memory will improve and you will get really good marks in your entire neat examination thank you so much students i'll see you next video do not forget to hit the like button target is 200 likes all of you know that and also comment down show some love ah huh? where is the love share love is missing so in the comment section all of you okay students bye bye